Hey, what is up guys? I'm back with another video and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a dual PC streaming slash gaming setup um, using a capture card. Now, first, what you're going to need is the Elgato capture card, which I, technically you can use any capture card you want. I have the Elgato Game Capture HD 60S. You can use any kind of Elgato capture card or I'm sure other capture cards like Aver Media or something along those lines will also work. Now, with the capture card, you are going to need um, a USB A to USB C cable, which it should come with. And then also you're going to need an HDMI cable, which it also should come with. So you should have everything you need. If you have your capture card and, and both your PCs, your streaming PC and your uh, gaming PC, you should have everything you need right there. Okay guys. So first what you're going to want to do is take your capture card and look at the N right here where it says N and then take your HDMI cable and plug it into the end section. And then after that, take your power cable right here. You'll take the USB-C side and then also plug it into the end. So then you'll have something that looks like that. And that's literally all you need. Now what you're gonna wanna do, get your cables ready. Take your HDMI, plug it into the back of your gaming PC. So for me, that'll be my actual PC right here. Then what you're gonna wanna do after you plug your HDMI into your gaming PC, into your streaming PC, you're gonna wanna plug your USB. So I plugged my USB into my streaming PC slash recording PC, and then my gaming PC has the HDMI. Now what you're gonna wanna do on both devices, I'm gonna start off with my um, my gaming PC. Okay, go to your gaming PC and then open up OBS. And once you open up OBS, uh, go to your sources and click add and then add a display capture right here. I currently have one added. And when you add a display capture, it'll pop up like this window and everything. Just click OK. And what you're going to want to do from here is go to your streaming slash recording PC. Then we're going to open up OBS on this PC as well. This is now our uh, streaming PC. And then also add a new source. And this source is going to be, this source is going to be a video capture device right here. And when you open up your video capture device, you can rename it if you'd like, but go to your devices and select game capture HD 60 or whatever capture card you're using. It should have that name unless you're, will not have the Elgato name, but it should have the name of the capture card unless it's a knockoff capture card. You can leave everything else default. Now you'll notice after you do that, you still can't see anything. If you look at your gaming PC, you have display capture on, you look at your streaming PC, you just have a black screen in OBS. So go back to your gaming PC and right click on display capture and then go to full projector source, full, full screen projector source and then click HD60S. After you do that, go back to your streaming PC and right click on your source, click properties, and then deactivate it, and then activate it again, and it will pop up. Now, if you do not, on your gaming PC, if you do not right click on display capture and click full screen projector, and click HD60S, it will not show up on your recording slash streaming PC. So after you've done that, you should have it popped up on your screen, on your uh, streaming PC. But there's still more to this. Next, we're gonna talk about audio. So, what you're going to have to do is your headset that you use to listen to your gameplay, you're going to have to plug it into your streaming PC. You can't have it plugged into your gaming PC. Now, there's other ways around this if you have uh, Go XLR or something like that, but if these are, this is for the people that don't have anything like that. What you need to do is plug your headset into your um, streaming PC and on the audio mixer right here, click on this little settings tab and then click advanced audio properties and most of your things by default will be monitor off but on the elgato game capture hd60 or whatever capture card you're using uh click on this little box right here and it'll do a drop down box and 
click monitor and output. Now, after you do that, you're going to want to make sure that you have your desktop audio disabled. So go to your settings right here and then go to audio and make sure your desktop audio is disabled. You don't want that because if you have your desktop audio enabled, it will pretty much have an echo because your desktop will be recording the Elgato along with the Elgato recording the audio. So after you do this, next go to your gaming PC and go down to your speaker icon down here. Click on it and then make sure when you click on your devices up here that you have the HD60S selected because if not, then you won't be able to hear anything. Now, when you do this and you go into a game, which I'll show you guys, when you go into a game at first, you're not going to be able to hear anything. You're going to have to deactivate and reactivate the Elgato like I told you previously. I'll show you right here. So fortunately for me, guys, I'm currently booting up Dying Light. And as you can see on my uh, streaming PC, you can see the, the little audio waves in the Elgato. And also I can hear it through my headset. Um, if you can't by any chance hear it through your headset or hear it through the Elgato, you need to go back to your Elgato, right click on it, click properties and deactivate it and reactivate it back and then you should be okay. But the reason why I'm having you go through this step right here is because if you re if you plug in your headset into your streaming PC, either the audio will be recorded but you can't hear the gameplay or you can hear the gameplay but the audio won't be recorded. So that's why you have to go through that step where you select the audio properties and select monitor and output because if you don't have it on monitor and output it won't work now at this point we have the elgato set up and we have our audio fixed but next what if you want to record your buddies in a discord call well make sure your headset that you're using has a microphone attached to it like my headset's like six years old and it has a little microphone attached to it because that's what you're going to use for them to hear you, you the reason you're going to use your headset mic is because for me, I am using my Blue Yeti X, which is the mic that you guys are hearing me talk through right now. I am recording it through my uh, gaming PC. I'm using Audacity to record that. So I would recommend doing that. Uh, you can go to your streaming PC and open up Audacity and record it through there if you'd like. But I'm recording my audio because everything's getting transferred to my gaming PC because I have all my videos saved on here. My PC is a lot faster and a lot more storage. So I use it instead of my laptop. So I'm recording my audio in Audacity through my gaming PC. If you would like to do it through your streaming PC, you can also do that. It'll take a, it really won't take much load off. Audacity doesn't really use much resources in your PC. But if you do plug your microphone into your gaming PC, then you can just open up Audacity in there. Or if you want to have it on the same track, in OBS, just open up a new source and select an input audio device and you'll be all set. You can select your mine is a Blue Yeti X microphone and you can use it through Discord calls and you can use it to record your gameplay. But your friends, if you want to record them in a Discord call, you have your desktop audio deactivated. So they there's no way to record them. So what you have to do is go online go to win audio capture obs and i will leave a link to this website in the description when you get to this site right here uh you go to download right here and then it'll take you to this page when you get to this page go to the bottom and do win capture audio 2.2.2 beta setup.exe i'll link this website right here so you can just scroll down and click it and when you download that and you go back into OBS, right click, add a new source, and you'll have application audio output capture. And that will be this. This is what my Discord is right here. And then it'll give you an option for whatever you want to record. And I have my sec uh, my session set to uh, discord.exe. So it'll record your Discord call audio, your buddies talking in the Discord. And then, of course, you have your microphone plugged in and you're recording it through Audacity and or OBS. And then you also have your uh, capture card uh, set up like we, I showed you there at the beginning and hope and your audio should be working through your headset and through your um, recording if you have it all set up right. If you have any questions on this, because I know it was a lot, I was trying to simplify it as much as possible and I have a tendency of complicating things. 
So if you do have any issues, comment down below. This is really a hard video to um, to not overcomplicate, if you ask me, because I had so much trouble explaining this. But um, if this did help you guys, uh, leave a like, comment, and I will see you guys next time.